यस बढ़िया तो आज हाँ तो चलो हमारी प्रेयर्स कर लेंगे इसके पहले इसको हाइड करती हूँ हाँ ओम नारायणम पद्म भवम वशिष्ठम शक्ति तत्पुत्र पराशर च व्यास शुक गौड़पद महांत गोविंद योगींद्र मथा से शिष्यम इसको बड़ा कर दो ये भी कर सकते हैं इस पर आज तो दिख नहीं रहा है इसकी ऑप्शन एक मिनट हाँ जूम करती हूँ यस ऊ ये तो काफी बड़ा हो गया <laughs> नारायणम पद्म भवम वशिष्ठम शक्ति तत्पुत्र पराशर च व्यास शुक गौड़पद महांत गोविंद योगींद्र मथा से शिष्यम श्रीशंकराचार्य मथा से पद्म पाद हस्तामल कंच शिष्यम तम तोटक वार्तिक कारमस्मदुरून सततमान तो अभी आई स्कीप स्कीप से भी नहीं जाता है हाउ टू गेट बैक गड़बड़ हो गई हाँ ओके श्रुति स्मृति पुराना आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवंत पुनः पुनः सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणा मूर्त नम नेक्स्ट ओके ओम श्री दयानंदेश्वराय नम अभी ये है हम लोग की वर्सेस और इसको भी मैं जूम करने की कोशिश करती हूँ ओके अभी समझी कैसे करना है अमानित्व अदम्बित्व अहिंसा क्षातिराजव आचार्योपासनम शौचम स्थर्य आत्म विनिग्रह इंद्रियाषु वैराग्यम अनहंकार जन्म मृत्युजरा व्यादि दुख दोषादर्शनम असक्तिरन विश्वंग पुत्रदार गृहादिषु नित्यम च समचिष्टा निष्टोपत्तिषु मयि चानन्य योगेन भक्तिरव्यचारिणी विवक्त देश से अरतिर्जन संसदी अध्यात्म ज्ञान निवज्ञादर्शनम एक ज्ञानमी प्रोक्त अज्ञानम यदतोन्यथा पढ़िया यू ओके सो आई वाज एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग विथ zooming you know how to zoom the thing so last time we looked at the values of arjavam and acharyo pasanam arjavam mane alignment of personality thought word deed apne vichar apne kya bolte hain speech ko kya bolenge apne apne shabd vaani <laughs> vaang vaani vaani apne vaani okay अपने वाणी और अपने जो कर्म है वो अलाइंड हो जाए और आचार्य पासनम वी सॉ द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ सर्विस टू गुरु एंड वी आल्सो अंडरस्टूड हाउ शास्त्र इज अ प्रमाणम सो द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू दैट वी हैव इज कॉल्ड शौचम शौचम मींस प्योरिटी मैंने हिंदी की ट्रांसलेशन देखा तो शौचम का इन लोग ने क्या बोला टॉयलेट डेफिकेशन ऐसा नहीं है ओके 
it is not defecation it means purity cleanliness okay nahi to bolte na shauch jana hai aisa nahi wo nahi hai this is shaucham meaning purity cleanliness so do tarah ki purity hai okay so we have bahya shaucham bahya shaucham mane external purity okay that means keeping the body the clothes things of use jo hum vastu hum use karte hain the place that we stay the outside environment the inside environment jahan hum rehte hain us sab ko saaf rakhna aur body ko bhi healthy rakhna theek hai wo hoga bahya shaucham aur fir antara shaucham अंदर की प्योरिटी इंटरनल प्योरिटी दैट मीन्स मेंटेनिंग क्लेनलीनेस ऑफ माइंड माइंड एकदम साफ रहे बाई रिमूविंग जो भी नेगेटिविटीज आती है ना नेगेटिव एटीट्यूड आते हैं नेगेटिव थिंकिंग होती है जैसे कि जेलसी होती है द्वेष होती है ओके देन रिसेंटमेंट रिसेंटमेंट मुझे पता नहीं हिंदी में क्या है मीन्स अंदर जलना ए रिसेंटमेंट भय सेल्फिशनेस आत्म तिरस्कार सेल्फ कंडेमनेशन ऑल दिस यू नो ऑल द नेगेटिविटीज फॉल अंडर क्लीन वी हैव टू क्लीन दम एंड डेली वी हैव टू डू दिस क्लीनिंग ओके तो एक्सटर्नल प्योरिटी माने We all have value for कि अपना जो आस पास की जगह clean हो अच्छा लगता है So keeping our body, our clothes, our residence, बाहर की environment clean. India में वो value ज्यादा नहीं है बाहर के environment. लोग अपने कचरे बाहर ही डाल देते हैं टक you know, throw it out. Never mind. दूसरों लोग को सफर करना है तो कोई बात नहीं हम हमारे घर में तो है नहीं ना कचरा no not like that we care about the environment we care about others okay aise jab hum karte hain then the mind is happy and jo hamare sath interact karte hain wo bhi khush hote hain ki dekho kitna neat and clean hai aur hum sab ko pata hai ki body ko to clean rakhna hi hai roz hum nahate hain clothes we are washing with soap and water house we are doing sweeping and mopping na ये सब हमें सिखाया गया है तो इसके प्रति एक प्रेम होता है कि कीपिंग योर एक्सटर्नल एनवायरनमेंट क्लीन एक डिसिप्लिन भी होती है और ये मन को हैप्पी रखती है देन फूड हाइजीन शुड आल्सो बी देयर व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इन क्लेनलीनेस प्योरिटी देन वी आल्सो टॉक अबाउट फूड सो द फूड दैट वी कंज्यूम शुड बी क्लीन एंड प्योर भगवद गीता क्या बताती है तीन तरह की आहार है सात्विक आहार राजसिक आहार तामसिक आहार सो एज फार एज पॉसिबल सात्विक खाना खाओ राजस और तामसिक खाना को अवॉइड करो दैट मीन्स फ्रूड दैट फूड फ्रेश फूड दैट इज न्यूट्रिशियस जूसी मीन्स उसमें रस है ड्राई ड्राई नहीं है रस है जो स्टेबल है जल्दी खराब नहीं होती है जो मन को खुशी देती है उसको हम बोलेंगे कि वो सात्विक खाना है वेर इज वेरी बिटर वेरी सावर वेरी सॉल्टी वेरी पंजेंट वेरी हॉट इस तरह के खाना को राजसिक खाना बोलेंगे और इससे क्या होता है बॉडी गेट्स डिजीज और फिर वॉट इज तामसिक खाना स्टेल क्या बोलते हैं हम बासी खाना बोलते हैं ना बासी स्टेल ड्राई डेड डेड मीन्स नॉन वेजिटेरियन नहीं तो डेड रॉटन स्मेलिंग एंड स्टिम्यूलेटिंग फूड जैसे अल्कोहल ये सबको तामसिक खाना बोलते हैं और ये हमें क्या देती है इट विल गिव अस लेजीनेस स्लीपीनेस इस तरह के खाना से स्लीपीनेस आती है ओके सो रजस एंड तमस ये 
it makes the body and mind impure and then when the body and mind get this level of impurity then maintaining purity becomes difficult okay purity of food dusri baat diet should be in keeping with the health of the body not taste of the tongue aha <laughs> this is tough okay internal purity ye to sab bahya shaucham tha abhi antarik shaucham roz ke roz just as dust comes on the body clothes are getting stained with dirt chai us pe gir gaya kuch khana khaya to uski stains clothes pe aa gaye ghar mein garbage gets accumulated जो हमारे घर में बुक्स है वस्तु है वो भी डिसऑर्गेनाइज हो जाते हैं उसके ऊपर भी डस्ट आ जाती है तो इस तरह से जो डर्ट है वो रोज का रोज इकट्ठा होता है उसी तरह से मन में भी रोज का रोज कोई ना कोई गंदगी इकट्ठा हो जाती है जैसे कि थोड़ा सा जलसी कभी कभी आपस में एक द्वेष आ जाता है गुस्सा आ जाता है द्वेष आ जाता है नहीं तो हम अपने आप की तिरस्कार करते हैं आत्म तिरस्कार होती है ये सब मन को स्टेन करती है जैसे हमने देखा कपड़े को कोई वस्तु उसके ऊपर दाग डालती है यही वस्तु नेगेटिविटीज मन में दाग डालती है ओके दे गिव प्रॉब्लम सो एवरी we clean our body every day we wear fresh clothes every day we do sweeping and mopping of the house in the same way hamari jo man mein jo daag aati hai usko bhi roz saaf karni hai shri parma ramkrishna paramahans man ko compare karte the ek tamba ke lote ke taraf ki jaise jaise pooja mein hum tamba ki use karte hain so any copper vessel it has to be clean daily with tamarind or with pitambari theek hai aise koi vastu leke usko saaf karna padta hai roz ke roz isi tarah se man ko bhi roz saaf karna padta hai kyunki ye pile up hogi ye gandagi pile up hogi to layers and layers of gandagi aati hai and then to clear up that is very very difficult okay i would appreciate yes uh, sony uncle please keep your video on because you know i'm talking to people i'm not talking to the screen you know so i appreciate if your video is on okay so i can see people na uski fir wo hisab se talk bhi badalti hai jaise main shobha ko dekhti hu to isliye my talk becomes comes out in hindi <laughs> if i don't see shobha i will be speaking in english only but i know he uh, shobha has difficulty she prefers if you speak in hindi so then i try my hindi out okay eh? so in this way there is mala or dirt or ashuddhi of the mind craving jealousy dvesha atma tiraskar intolerance attachment ye sab man ke gandagi hai okay ashuddhi hai okay अटैचमेंट क्या होती है अटैचमेंट क्यों आती है समझो मैंने किसी के साथ बैठा मुझे आनंद आ रही है या कोई वस्तु हमने गुलाब जामुन खाई और और कुछ आए खाए तो उससे आनंद आ रही है तो जो वस्तु से आनंद आ रही है तो मन के अंदर एक माइंड सेट में आ जाती है आई मस्ट एंजॉय दिस ऑल द टाइम और इसी के साथ कनेक्टेड रहना है तो उसको हम बोलते हैं अटैचमेंट कि इसका बिना मैं ठीक नहीं हूं ऐसे जो वृत्ति आती है वो अटैचमेंट होती है कई लोग को क्या आती है जलसी आ जाती है जलसी को हिंदी में क्या बोलेंगे ईर्ष्या ईर्ष्या हो जाती है कि दूसरों के प्रति कि किसी को देखा दैट समबडी इज मोर यू नो मोर हैप्पी देन मी समबडी इज गेटिंग मोर अटेंशन देन मी समबडी इज मोर सक्सेसफुल देन मी समबडी इज मोर वेल्थ देन मी then irsha aa jati hai theek hai that's called as jealousy or irsha in fact aap dekhoge to aajkal main news mein dekhu 
ये रागा रागा माने कौन राहुल गांधी है <laughs> उनको ईर्ष्या हो रहा है भयंकर ईर्ष्या अगेंस्ट नमो है बहुत ये तो हमारी प्राइम केस ऑफ ईर्ष्या है आजकल की दुनिया में ओके okay. तो एक अच्छे आदमी को बोलना कि वो हिपोक्रेट है एक रिलीजियस आदमी बड़ा रिलीजियस आदमी है उसको बोलना कि तुम हिपोक्रेट है ना दिस इज ऑल देन फॉल्सली पुटिंग एन एक्यूजेशन ऑन अ पर्सन ये सब मल है आत्म तिरस्कार या द्वेष रिसेंटमेंट ऑल दिस इज मल फिर दूसरे टाइप के लोग दूसरा एक वृत्ति होती है जस्ट टू टेक रिवेंज कि किसी ने किसी के हाथ में आई सफर्ड आई सफर्ड एट द हैंड्स ऑफ समबडी और समबडी इंसल्टेड मी सो आई वांट टू टेक रिवेंज ओके अमर्श ओके सो व्हेन दीज फीलिंग्स कम व्हाट हैपेंस इज माइंड गेट्स पैरालाइज्ड एंड वासना आ जाती है नेगेटिव इंप्रेशंस टेक प्लेस इन द माइंड दे गेट इंप्रिंटेड एंड वंस दे गेट इंप्रिंटेड then it is very difficult to remove them when samskara it gets imprinted difficult to remove it so that's why we talk about daily daily cleansing okay so let's look at this so tamarind is used to clean a copper vessel what kind of tamarind will we use to clean our mind so in order to purify the mind shastra recommends okay an antidote for the mind and what is that it is pratipaksha bhavana shastra hi batati hai pratipaksha bhavana what is pratipaksha bhavana it means to take the opposite point of view jab man mein ashauch ashaucham ashaucham means ashuddhi जब अशुद्धि वृत्ति आती है देन डेलिबरेटली थिंक इन दी ऑपोजिट वे वेरी डेलिबरेटली यूज योर विल एंड थिंक इन दी ऑपोजिट वे जस्ट लाइक इफेक्ट ऑफ एसिड इज नलिफाइड बाय एल्कलाइन स्टफ यू नो आप कोई एल्कली को यूज करो और एसिड की इफेक्ट चली जाती है इसी तरह से अशुद्धि वृत्ति जो होती है अशुद्ध वृत्तियां वो शुद्ध वृत्तियां से नलिफाई हो जाते हैं और ये प्रतीक्षा प्रतिपक्ष भावना कब इफेक्टिव होगा जब हमारे अंदर अंतकरण शुद्धि के लिए एक मूल्य है इफ आई हैव अ वैल्यू फॉर अंतकरण शुद्धि देन दिस प्रतीक्ष वॉट इज दिस प्रतिपक्ष भावना बिकम्स वेरी यूजफुल ओके नाउ लेट्स लुक एट दिस जस्ट आई गॉट गिव सम एग्जाम्पल्स If manitvam is there, then the pratipakshna bhavana is to have humility. The opposite of manitvam is humility. So if you find in yourself that मेरे अंदर बहुत unnecessary pride हो रहा है तो मैं इसके लिए क्या करूंगी मैं इसके लिए मन में humility ले आऊंगी नम्रता ठीक है Okay. I don't know the exact word for humility in Hindi. I said namrata. Namrata. Namrata is correct. Okay. Namrata. Yes. Ah, namrata. Vi namrata. Vi namrata. Vi namrata. Okay. Vi namrata. Ah, yes. Then dambitvam. That means hypo. The person is a hypocrite. वो झूठ बोल रहा है अपने बारे में, ना? To get some appreciation. तो उनके लिए honesty होगा. जहाँ हिंसा है, उधर प्रतिपक्ष भावना प्रेम होगा जहां इंटॉलरेंस है असहिष्णुता है वहां सहिष्णुता होगा एक्सेप्टेंस होगी फर्गिवनेस होगी इस तरह से प्रतिपक्ष भावना अलग अलग इमोशंस के साथ अलग अलग प्रतिपक्ष भावना होती है बट फर्स्ट वन नीड्स टू रिकोगनाइज दैट मेरे मन में अश अशुद्धि वृत्ति आई है अशौचम वृत्ति आई है ये पहले मुझे पहचानना पड़ेगा नो आई हैव टू रिकॉग्नाइज दैट 
Once I recognize that, that I am having this ashaucham thoughts, then I can use pratipakshana. But kya hoti hai? Pressure of ashaucham. Ye Bhagawan. Ek minute, ha? Huh? Ah. Ye pressure of ashaucham thought itni high hoti hai. There can be a lot of pressure, you know, that I am not available to use Pratipaksha Bhavana. Jab is tarah ke man ke andar bohut intensely ye feelings aati hai, to us time pe hum kaun yaad rakhna, rakhenge ke hume Pratipaksha Bhavana rakhni hai, na? We just go with the emotion, na? So iske liye mein kya bolti hu? Ke use EFT. Use EFT. To reduce वो negative emotion जो है बहुत जल्दी वो नीचे आ जाता है This is the beauty of EFT बहुत जल्दी वो काम करती है जो intensity है ना वो बहुत जल्दी नीचे आ जाएगा Then when the intensity comes down then you have enough space मन के अंदर एक space है कि चलो तब आपके मन में in fact automatically आ जाएगी प्रतिपक्ष भावना automatically आ जाएगी Supposing somebody insults me, okay? Or someone has criticized me unfairly. Their behavior was wrong. It was totally wrong. It was totally unjustified. What happened? I am reeling under the effect of anger. I am full of anger. I am full of resentment. I am very hurt at their behavior. Where am I going to use any Pratipaksha Bhavana now? Where will I be able to use so much? But at least one thing, being a sadhaka. After all, I am a mokshati, I am a sadhaka. So I am able to recognize that even though the other's behavior is totally wrong, still the anger and resentment is mine. Ye mera hai. Aur ye dvesh ban raha hai. ठीक है और ये जो द्वेष बन रहा है वो किसका द्वेष है वो आदमी का तो नहीं है मेरा है इट इज माय द्वेषा इफ आई अलाउ दिस टू रिमेन दिस द्वेषा इज गोइंग टू बिकम वेरी डिस्टर्बिंग स्टेट ऑफ माइंड सो सीइंग द कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ अलाउिंग द द्वेषा टू रिमेन मैं सोचती हूं कि चलो इसके बारे में कुछ करना चाहिए आई शुड डू समथिंग अबाउट दिस so at this point, remember I am saying you are under the effect of this, you know, bahut gusse mein ho. It is good to start EFT. If the intensity of the negative emotion is very high, because it quickly brings down the intensity. Here in our case it is anger and hurt. Or jab wo hoti hai, then automatically you will be able to introduce pratipaksha bhavana. If intensity is not very high, then you don't need to use EFT. Then automatically you can use Pratipaksha Bhavana. That means deliberately I will introduce thoughts which are opposite to the negative thoughts that come in my mind. So here we are looking at the case of this person who is very very angry, who is very resentful because somebody has insulted that person or somebody has criticized them unfairly. Right. So we have looked, this person is having intense feelings. We used EFT and I will share with you in the group a EFT protocol for anger. Okay. How to bring down the anger. So once the level comes down, you will be, what, what will you? Now, ha, before I come to that, EFT karte samay, you may need to address why did this anger come in the first place? That means, is there a pile up? Maybe this person is repeatedly doing this, you know. Repeatedly the person is insulting me. Repeatedly the person is not treating me properly. In which case there is a pile up. Hamare emotions mein pile up ho gai hai. To wo pile up ko address karna padega. Kyunki wo pile up hai, to chote chote vastu mein hum trigger ho jate hai. So the pile up will have to be addressed. You will have to do for some of the incidents, you know. Whatever is there in the memory. Ke usne mujhe aise kiya tha. Us time pe mujhe aise bola tha. 
जब भी भी हमें गुस्सा आती है ना किसी के साथ पूरे हिस्ट्री आ जाती है तब उस टाइम पे उसने मुझे ऐसे बोला उस टाइम पे मुझे ऐसे किया ये सब पूरी हिस्ट्री आ जाती है तो वो हिस्ट्री के लिए हमें ई करनी पड़ेगी टिल यू द स्पाइलिंग ऑफ ऑफ इमोशन इज टैप्ड आउट एंड वंस द लेवल कम्स डाउन then naturally you are a sadhaka you are a mokshaarthi you don't want to carry these emotions in your mind in your heart and so now the pratipaksha bhavana abhi samjho ki ye niche aa gaya hai aapki gussa thoda niche aa gayi hai i hope aap sun pa rahe hain kyunki meri internet connection bura hai mu my recording has stopped i ah, know it's recording ओके या ओके बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव फाइबर टुडे यू नो आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज टू जियो सो नाउ द प्रतिपक्ष भावना व्हेन यू आर सो एंग्री एंड रिसेंटफुल इज टू ट्राई एंड सी सम गुड क्वालिटीज इन दैट पर्सन ओके यू विल ट्राई टू सी सम गुड क्वालिटीज Maybe my Guruma, you are muted now. Is it okay now? Please, can you hear me? Yeah, okay. So now, when your anger has come down, the pratipaksha bhavana. is to try and see some good qualities in that person tough thing you know <laughs> but remember when you do eft the anger comes down dramatically i did eft for a young man you know in gujarat he was very angry with some cousin of his or somebody who had insulted him or something or said something bad to him we did eft and within four rounds the fellow says oh actually you know he is my brother why should i be so angry with him we all make mistakes no he also made a mistake it's okay i forgive him are before this he was saying i will never talk to him again ye wo he was so angry you know <laughs> so this is the beauty of eft it comes down very very quickly and then your mind is available to think wisely again okay your wisdom can come to the fore again okay so you try to see some good qualities in that person that you dislike because the truth is this is all the time vedanta will be telling you this okay that all saintly qualities like love kindness compassion peace they are there in all of us at least in potential form why because the self atma sachidananda is purna and all these qualities are the natural qualities which express themselves they are natural so these qualities will be there at least to some extent in the person whom you are angry with thoda kuch to hoga uske andar so look for them think of all the people who like that person why do they like so me we say is think of you know like ravan ko someone one person liked him that was his wife mandodari now there must be something nice in him for because she was a very good woman you know so she saw something nice in him and she liked him so maybe if we look at ravana through the eyes of mandodari <laughs> we won't be annoyed with him any more so in this way we try to see something good maybe they are very good with their own children maybe that person is looking after their parents some good quality will be there no so try to pay attention to that person's good qualities we are trying to neutralize okay what we are having in our mind and then again remind yourself that whatever negative qualities this person is having it is because of ignorance it is because of bad upbringing something was a problem in the upbringing it is because of habit wrong thinking wrong environment all of these 
So we are very, consider yourself blessed that you are not in the same situation as that person. If you were brought up like that person, then maybe, you know, you would react in the same way. So, negative qualities in Vedanta, we say they are not real. Ye sach nahi hai. They are incidental and they can, because they can be corrected. Okay, you can correct that and it will go. So, when dislike comes in your mind, resentment comes in your mind, for whatever reason, introduce Pratipaksha Bhavana. See the person behind the action. Pooja Swamiji used to give lot of jor to this, you know. See the person behind the action. Understand where that person's behavior is coming from. And you will be able to see that it is coming from their pain. It is coming from their ignorance. And if you are able to see that that person is in pain, and actually it is the pain which is expressing, it's got nothing to do with you really, it is their own pain which is expressing, then you may be able to be more understanding and sympathetic with that person. And so, you may be able to, this is difficult, forgive the person. Okay? So, forgiveness means not keeping grudges in your heart. Letting go of the grudges. Forgiveness does not mean that you will not protect yourself from being hurt by them again. You know, people are scared to forgive because they think that wo fir se aise karega. Isi mein maaf nahi kar sakti hu. No? But forgive me, forgiveness means just clearing your mind of all the resentment, anger, whatever you are having there. So forgiveness is for you. It's not for the other person. It's got nothing to do with the other person. It's to do with you. It is for you because your mind has the negativity and you need to clear it. Okay, so on a daily basis, we want to clear our mind of this kind of Okay, so now let's look at this. Okay, so I'll ask uh, Komal, can you read this out because you may be able to see it. Are you able to see it? Yes, Guru Ma, ah. I'm able to see. It's the same thing that I said, okay. but only in point form. So just fat, 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 read the points. See? Remind yourself that you are a sadhaka, a mokshartha, and you don't want to carry these emotions in your heart. Use EFT, bring down intensity of anger. See the good qualities in the person. Allow yourself to give the person forgiveness is for you. Yes. Okay. Okay, that was just summarizing the whole thing. Then the other ashaucham is selfishness. One more ashaucham. So when there is selfishness in us, us, we are not able to see it usually. We don't know what we If others point it out to us, then we justify. You know, we go on the defensive, we justify it somehow. So, first step is understanding what is selfishness. Recognizing the tendency in oneself if it is there. So, selfishness is when we think only of our needs, our feelings, our happiness and we are inconsiderate of the other's feelings, needs, their happiness. Okay? So, that was first is understanding and recognizing the tendency in ourselves. Then, to have a value for growing out of selfishness. Why should I have a value? Because Atma is huge, it's big. Selfishness is only a dhakkan on Atma, you know. Atma's Purnatva. It is covering up the Purnatva of Atma. It makes you very small. Selfishness makes one very small. So once I have the value for not being selfish, then I can pay attention to my habitual behaviors of selfishness because it's a habit. And then to get out of that, what should I do? I have to be deliberate. 
very conscious of my behavior and whenever I see selfishness creeping in, to use my will very deliberately and do the overdo in the other direction. Act in an unselfish manner, overdo it. Okay, act it out. Actually do some action which is unselfish. This will be called Pratibhaksha Bhavana in action. So go out of your way to be considerate. And over a period of time, aste aste, being considerate becomes spontaneous. So when we act out physically, you know, the attitude of unselfishness, it will root out the habitual tendency. Okay, so Komal will quickly read this out. Yes. Understand selfishness. Selfishness is when we think only of our needs, feelings and happiness and are inconsiderate of others' feelings, needs and happiness. Recognize the tendency in oneself. Having a value for growing out of selfishness. Become aware of habitual patterns of selfishness, being inconsiderate of others. Deliberately overdo in the op opposite direction. Be extra caring, extra generous. Act in an unselfish manner. So that acting it out is very, very important. Okay, when you act out, then physically act it out, then it's very, very effective in, you know, reinforcing the behavior pattern of unselfishness. Now we have one more ashaucham. This is called self-condemnation. In Hindi, we'll call it as Atma Tiraskar. So two forms of self-condemnation. One is because of transgressing our own value system. We have a value system, we are not able to follow it. Okay? And then naturally it is going to result in guilt. And then I condemn myself. And the other one is the habit of blaming ourselves, being critical of ourselves, judging ourselves is not good enough. If we had critical parents who were always criticizing us, without appreciating our strengths as a child, we would have felt that we were not good enough. And we would tend to blame ourselves. We would have learned this pattern, you know, from the parents. And we will criticize ourselves. And many times we think criticism of ourselves is very good because it will make me improve. Iti. But this kind of self-condemnation, it gives a lot of suffering, unnecessary suffering. And becomes a habit. And sometimes it's our comfort zone also. Okay. But self-contamination is the very opposite of what Vedanta teaches. What does Vedanta teach you? Vedanta teaches you that you are Purna. You are whole. The self is whole. Self is Satchidananda. Self is complete. So self-condemnation is based on taking the self to be wrong and imperfect. And this is totally against the teaching of Vedanta. So taking the self to be imperfect or wrong is because of identification with the imperfect mind-body complex. Now this is a you know very difficult portion I am taking. So now we take an action. The action is performed by the body. I will call it as my action and if the action is not a good action, not an appropriate action and then I will condemn myself. Now let's understand what happened. The action was prompted by what? By a thought, right? In the mind. And the thought in the mind, why did it arise? Because of certain impressions of past experiences which are there. And there is some triggering situation now. Abhi kuch ho raha hai. Jiske karan wo past impressions trigger ho gai. Aur wo past impressions trigger ho gai. Meri koi habitual behavior hoti hai. The thought arose in my mind. 
I did the action. Okay. So these thoughts which were triggered, they trigger my ego, the identified, the person, the I, which is identified with the body mind. Now, if we analyze, we will find that the body mind, I am calling it as I, This body mind cannot be condemned. Why? Body by itself is inert. It is jada. Okay? It doesn't have any consciousness. The only consciousness and ent entity is atma, self. Body mind by itself is inert. It will not do an action. Does not have self-consciousness. Doesn't have judgment. The senses and different organs, they perform their functions because they are autonomous. Either they do it automatically or they are prompted by our mind. And what is the mind? Mind we can't really define as an entity because it's just a bunch of thoughts and thoughts are changing all the time. One thought, different thought, different thought are changing all the time. Right? Now one thought, now another thought. So mind is just a set of thoughts which are happening just now. And those thoughts are owned up by what? Owned up by the ego, the I which is identified with the body and mind. So now you will say, I should condemn the ego. But can the ego be condemned? Because what is the ego? The ego is nothing but ignorance. So ignorance alone can be condemned. And who, what is the real I? The real I is Atma, Satchidananda, who is illumining the ego, in whose presence the ego is shining. So the I is Satchidananda, Sat, ever existent, Chit, changeless, consciousness, awareness, Ananda, limitless, infinite. And what kind of Satchidananda this is? Not a Karta, not a Bhukta. So, I, Satchidananda Atma, cannot be condemned. So, self-condemnation for any reason defeats the purpose of studying Vedanta. Because the truth is, self cannot be condemned. And if you do, then you are living in ignorance. It's a big, you know, it's not easy to understand this. The identity, identified I, the ego, when one identifies with the body-mind complex, it's called as the ego, that entity is called as the ego. The ego is the one who feels the sense of limitation. And the ego is the one who can transgress a value. And the good thing is that even if there is no self-knowledge, the ego can be corrected. Okay, it can be corrected. I am repeating this with lo same logic with an example. I got angry with someone and I throw a book at that person. I hurt the person badly. It was a heavy book with a sharp edge. Now this action was violent. It's not okay to express my anger violently. The action was wrong. Where did the action come from? It came from an anger thought. And the anger thought, where did that come from? From the hurt ego. And what is the hurt ego? It is a product of ignorance. So if anything is to be blamed, it is ignorance. Not Satchidananda, Atma, the Self. Self is always pure, pure consciousness, whole, complete, purna, changeless. And being changeless, it can never be tainted by any action. What happens now? Ignorance hai, identification with the body-mind hai. This causes feeling of limitation, which causes the ego to judge itself. Alag alag se hum apne aap ko judge karte hai. And then I may arrive at a conclusion, I am not good enough. 
and once you think you are not good enough it's very difficult to assimilate vedanta kyunki your assimilated perception aapka samajh apne bare mein hai it is opposite of what vedanta tells okay so we need to be able to handle this self condemnation okay and we will ask komal to read again <laughs> so self condemnation a shaucham of self condemnation i'll see the first one leads to suffering okay komal can unmute it's the opposite of what uh, i have and it's yeah. the opposite of what vedanta teaches so defeats the purpose of the vedantic teaching which is to discover self oh. self condemnation is because of identification with the imperfect body mind identification is because of ignorance ignorance alone can be condemned if at all the real i is atma satchitananda who illumines the ego okay now what 